Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn how to create variables and arguments in Joypath Studio. So please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely. So let's get started. So to create a variable, we will open the main workflow. I will click on open main workflow. And you can also open it from the projects and then double click on main.xaml right the workflow is open now now you can create the variable from the variable section which is at the bottom right and for that you need to create the sequence first right so I will go ahead and uh, I will go ahead in the activities and pull the sequence I will type sequence and drop it here right now I can create a variable to create a variable I'll just click on create variable and then I will name the variable as first name right and from here you can choose the data type of the variable and you can also set the scope right and also if you want you can set the value here okay so let's see if I put the value as mic and then if I uh, pull the activity which is called message box right and here I can specify the variable name as first name and when I run it you will see that the first name will be shown in the message box right similarly you can also create the variable and if you want to delete you if you want to delete this variable you can just right click and delete or you can also just select the variable and press the delete button and then you can create a variable in the sequence so to create a variable I'll just put the assign activity right and here I can right click and then press to create variable or the shortcut key I can choose which is control K here I can give the variable name and then I can assign the value just like mic and by default whenever you will create a variable the variable type will be string so you have to come back to this variables section and you need to change the data type as per your need so as of now I'm going to work with this string that is why I'm keeping keeping it as string right and now if I run the board it will again show the same value here you can see the value is mic okay so this is how you can do it so let's see if I delete this and I can also delete this variable from here and then I drag the assign right here you see on, on the right side you have option so it says that two you can right click and say create variable or you can just say that control K and from here also you can create a variable and then you can assign the value which is mic and if you expand it you can ex expand and write it in the expression editor in the same thing okay so why do you why do we create a variable variables are used to store the data 
this is exactly what we are doing here right so this is the data which is mic and we are storing it uh, in the variable first name right so whenever we will use the variable name which is first name the value of it will be shown correct in the same way we can create arguments right here we can come and say that create argument but it is in, in break best practice that you have to specify the direction here right so let's say if you want to create input argument in that case you have to begin it with in and then last name right same way you need to set the direction whether this this argument will be used as an input or this will be used as an output or it will be used as both input and output right so in this case and again you can come back and set the argument type so the data type you have, is, you have to specify and if it is input uh, argument then you, you can set the default value as well but if it is output argument then you cannot set the default value so if the direction of uh, argument is input and output then also you cannot set the default value right and why do we use argument arguments are used to transfer the data from one workflow to another right because the scope of variable will remain the same workflow but when we will use argument that is that will be used to transfer the data from one workflow to another workflow right so this is how you can create argument right and the arguments also can be created from the assign activity and also it can be created from the properties panel right so if you like this video please click on the like button and if you have any question please post it in the comment section and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you for watching have a great day